Hey guys, Adam from Illumosnetic here. We're gonna get into a very, very anticipated and hotly requested video, which is how to do infinity mirrors. Uh, you can see here, I have a table full of stuff to show you, and I'm gonna just jump into the easier way. Um, there's two ways to do infinity mirrors, what we like to call the diffusion style and the tunnel style. Um, these require pretty, pretty bare minimal materials that you can get on our website, but let's just jump right into it. Um, first, of course, you're gonna need your tail light. These are the uh, 0405 GD tail lights, um, the inserts uh, that we've already taken apart. If you're curious on how to take it apart, we do have another video for that. For the tunnel style, which is the style that looks like a tunnel, you're gonna need a pair of two-way mirrors. Uh, these kind of mirrors, basically you can see one side, uh, see out through one side, but it looks like a mirror on the other side. They're kind of like um, those interrogation mirrors you see in the movies. And then you're also gonna need a pair of one-way mirrors. These are just standard mirrors. So they reflect on one side, and then there's blank on the other side. And then for the tunnel style, what you're gonna need is you're gonna need LED strips. Um, you can get these from our website, or you can use your own. For the diffusion style, you're also gonna need a pair of two-way mirrors. These are gonna go on the top, and these are gonna give you your diffusion effect. But on the bottom, you're also gonna use a set of two-way mirrors instead of one-way mirrors this time. Um, same thing, different sides for this application, and everything is cut to size and available on our website. And then finally, um, on the bottom, you're gonna use a diffusion panel. So you can see here, it's painted and it's been cut to our specific, specified design. So if I peel it off right here, you're gonna see that for this example, we're gonna use a star, right? And this is basically gonna give you your pattern that you want. And then finally, uh, depending on your application, you're gonna want something to backlight it. So you can also use the LED strip, but in this specific case, we're just gonna use a standard LED pole. Um, other materials you're gonna need, regardless of which, which, which method you use, are uh, shugu, and that's to permanently secure the panels. You're also gonna want some butyl tape, this is kind of to secure it. All, hot glue will also work in this case. So let's just get started in doing the tunnel style. So notice I put on some gloves, because these are mirrors. Um, any kind of fingerprint and dust you're gonna get, you're gonna be able to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my smaller mirror, and these are cut to size depending on application. Um, just make sure you let us know if you want to do this for your build and you need specific sizing. Um, either send us the lights or uh, send us an email. Um, but we're going to go ahead and put these smaller mirrors here. Just like that. And this should be press fit in, um, which is nice. Alright, so now we have this in here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my LED strip. So the way this works is I'm gonna put one LED strip row across the entire wall. So if you see here, I left this um, width of wall for LED strip. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the side. and approximately figure out what length I need. So I need exactly this length right here. So if you see, I do have a cut line right there, which is perfect. So I'm gonna grab my scissors and I'm just gonna cut right at the cut line for the LED strip. And I'm good there. So now, this does have 3M tape on the back, though we don't recommend you trust it fully, which is why we have the shoe goo. But I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the adhesive backing. And then I'm gonna go ahead and sneak this through. Um, in certain applications, you may not have this hole, but obviously you would just drill one or cut it open. And now I'm just gonna slowly tape this down along the border of my pipe. Just like that. Okay.
So don't shoot glue anything down yet because you want to make sure everything's aligned. So now that we have this done, now we're going to go ahead and take our big mirror. And if you look closely, I'm not sure you can see it on camera, but there is a side that has um, more reflection than the other. So you're going to do your best to put that side on the inside of the lamp. In that case, for me, it's this side. I'm going to put it in. And it's basically done, which is very fast. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it on just to show you guys. I have my battery here. Um, you can also notice that the tunnel is kind of curving this way. Uh, and the reason that is because the mirrors are not fully uh, parallel with each other. So this is why we told you to not glue anything down yet. So you can adjust the tunnel of the mirrors as you see fit. So you see like what I'm doing here. And then get it how you want it before you, before you secure everything down. So now that we've won through the tunnel style of infinity mirror, I'm going to go through the diffusion style of infinity mirror. Um, the trade-off with this one is that it's not necessarily as bright, but you definitely have more freedom with the designs you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this piece off. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start with the diffusion piece. I'm going to go ahead and put it in. Kind of just like the two-way mirror in the in the tunnel style. It's like so. Uh, do keep in mind that you know your orientation does matter. You don't want to look crooked, but for the purposes of this tutorial, I haven't really put too much thought into it. So we just have that. Okay. Then we're gonna take our smaller two-way mirror. And I'm just gonna put it on top, on top. Just like that. Now that that's there, I'm gonna take my bigger two-way mirror and also put it on top. So now, notice how I haven't said anything about the reflection. Um, you can actually flip these mirrors around and play with the pattern and how quickly it diffuses. But, to a more or less extent, that's all you have to do. This is done. Now we, all we have to do is put a light source to it. Which is why I have this bulb. So we have this red bulb right here. And if I stick the bulb, you can see that this star is now patterned in an infinity fashion. It definitely isn't as bright as the tunnel style, but you, you get a lot more flexibility with the colors and animations. So as a good example, we have this light here as well. And this is a different design. So you can see, we get the same effect with a different design. And it ends up being very cool. Um, it's definitely only appropriate for night usage, so keep that in mind. Um, the tunnel stat is a little brighter, but personally we think this is a lot more sophisticated than this. Um, so once you're done with that, you, what you would use is use the butyl to seal off any light leakage on the edges. And then finally, when you're happy with your mock-up, go ahead and uh, shoo goo everything in. Uh, because everything is a mirror and not opaque, we highly recommend you shoo goo the edges of the mirror, not actually on the back or anything. That way you can't see the shoo goo once it's secured. This more or less concludes our quick tutorial on how to do um, the two different styles of infinity mirror. There is definitely more advanced ways you can apply this on the curved surfaces using other materials, but this is kind of the intro on how it works and all that. These materials are all available on our website, illumesthetic.com, LEDs, panels, the mirrors, and all that. So be, feel free to email us or contact us if you want an application specific to your vehicle. Um, other than that, I just want to end off by saying these do look awesome when they're off because it just looks like it's part of the OEM light. And I'll hit you up with some beauty shots. Take care, and I will hope to see you in the next video.